Brewers hosting the Rockies, and the Rockies are plus 230 on the money line. The Brewers are minus 275. The over-under, seven and a half runs. The Rockies getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 110, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Brewers laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 135, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, it has to be by two runs or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Don't know how many people are going to be watching this game. Well, Milwaukee has to have some kind of distraction until they figure out what's wrong with Jordan Love. Because if uh, if he's hurt, we might be hearing the Packers get called for the first pick. Uh, Freeland pitched twice against the Brewers last year. Six innings, three runs, three earned. They won 7-3. That was in Milwaukee. He struck out four. They won that game in 10 innings. Five shutout innings. They won 7-1. He struck out five. Peralta pitched twice last year against the Rockies. Seven innings, one run, one earned. They won 12-1. He struck out 13. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They lost 3-2 in Colorado. He struck out 10. Head-to-head, -head, they're 5-5 five five against each other. The home team is 6-4. and four. The favorite is 5-5 five five on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. There have been five one-run games in their last 10. The under has hit in their last five. The over-under is 5-5, five and, five, and the over-under at 7.5 runs. You guessed it, 5-5. Five and five. The Rockies have not confirmed Freeland as of yet. In his last 10 starts, he's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched. 5.1 strikeouts, 16.4 outs recorded, 6 hits, 1.2 walks, 3 runs, 2.7 of which were earned, 1 home run per game, 86.3 pitches per game, and 16.1 pitches per inning. When we flip it over to the Brewers with Peralta, they're 3-2 and two in his last 5 starts. The under is 3-1-1, one, and one. 5 and 2 thirds innings pitched, 4 hits, 1.6 earned runs, Four strikeouts, 2.2 walks, one home run per game. He gave up two home runs in his last start. 95.2 pitches per game, 16.9 pitches per inning. And his last two starts, he's thrown over 100 pitches. The Rockies are 2-2 two two in their last four. Seven runs, four runs, five runs, seven runs. Two runs and a loss, three runs and a win, three runs and a win, two runs and a loss. For the Brewers... One and three in their last four. 11 runs, five runs, five runs, seven runs. Four runs and a loss, two runs and a loss, two runs and a loss, five runs and a win. So now this is a damned if you do and damned if you don't because I understand last year is last year and this year is this year. I'm going to take the Brewers with the money line. I'm going to take the Rockies getting the runs and I'm going to lean under. Freeland just may pitch well against the Brewers. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.